And today you're on the and dab show. 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 So we're out here today on the waterfront. It's a beautiful day out. Lots of people are walking. So we've decided we're going to do this. We're going to walk around the waterfront asking people this very deep question. What's one thing you would change that would make your life a lot better? So let's see what people have to say. You ask the easy questions. I don't know if there's a whole lot I want to change. It's, it's been a pretty good ride so far. So That's awesome. I'm happy with it. I'd like to have a whole lot more money. Okay, okay. That would make my life probably a whole lot better. Although it's probably not that deep, but mm -hmm. it would probably help out a little bit. Well, yeah, honest, I'm an honest right? guy, man. That's, that's, that's what I do. I'm an honest guy. One thing I would change. Um, I think I would stop worrying so much. I worry a little. Okay. Um, I think I would change my outlook on money. I don't know, man. Like a lot. There's a lot. Okay, just, just, just give us a couple. If there's one thing I could change in my life, just freedom, man. I'm more, I need more freedom. <laughs> a lot of things. Um, I can only pick one. Just, okay, pick three. Mm, I was tan. <laughs> Always. <laughs> okay, that's, I didn't know that was a problem for you. Um, yeah, it's a really big problem. Um, I spoke Arabic. Oh. This would be really helpful. Okay, okay. Because my 70 words aren't getting me very far. <laughs> Yeah, to be honest, I'm a banker, so mm -hmm. it kind of goes hand in hand with what I do. I think not everyone does better with more money, but I think in my particular case, you know, a little more finance wouldn't hurt. Exactly. Right? People say yeah. money doesn't make you happy, but it's not always about just happiness. No, it's, no. it's about making other people happy. I got three girls, exactly, right? right? So, uh, yeah, it would, it would make their life a whole lot better if we had a couple more bucks. Yeah. What do you usually like worry about? Uh, Anything. Just things that like, you're scared of or is it Yeah, just... no, I think I, I'm one of those hypochondriacs. I think I have... I, I think I have the same thing too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, you yeah. get to, like, you're, you're just worrying about everything. Yeah. And it, it, honestly, life is too short to worry about. It something. is, yeah. it is. So I'm trying to get better at that. Okay, that's yeah. good. So that's good. So <laughs> you know what you have to change now to make your life a whole lot better? Yes. Okay, perfect. Your outlook on money. And what do you mean by that? That's very interesting, by the way. It's because I keep thinking that I need more and more and more and I think I could be happy with less and then I could just do more of the stuff I love without having to work as much. Honestly, that's that's a great great answer. Yeah, I need to move back to Halifax. Move to, you should move back to Halifax. It's the best place in the world, isn't it? What do you mean by freedom? I just need more freedom. Less parents, you know? Just less parents and then more freedom, that's it? More fun. What do you mean by more fun? Partying, you know, just clubbing, everything. Man. Well, thank you. Okay, so what, <laughs> this is going on YouTube, okay? I'm going to send it to your mom. What's one thing you wouldn't oh, change then? Gee, I don't know. The people I meet, I meet a lot of people. I like people. I, I I've had a chance to meet a whole lot of different people. Some younger than me, a lot older than me. One more question. Okay. This is just like a bonus question. Okay. What's one piece of advice that you would give to people or one piece of advice that you receive from someone that you just base your life on? Just give us one good piece of advice. Um, geez, that's a tough one. I guess I'd say just be true to yourself. Not, don't, don't be a different person for other people. You know, people in your life will love you for who you are, so don't feel you have to act a certain way and just be, be you, as embarrassing or as weird as that is. Great, that's, that's just perfect advice. Everybody watching, I think this is, this is what you need to get out of this episode. And thank you very much. So we're going to do it one more time. You're on the... You gotta say it with me. Okay, on the and Dab Show. <laughs> um, it sounds lame, and Kelly Clarkson. No, nothing's lame. Just tell us. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Whatever, whatever happens in life, it's just gonna, it's gonna be worth it, and it's gonna put you to where you need to be next, and it all works out in the end. 
Gee, I, I, I think the thing is just to enjoy the moment. You know, they don't fret about your future. It's going to happen anyway. And don't worry about your past. You, you know, the past is all prologue to the present. So I see. Okay. that's my advice. Yeah. That's some, that's enjoy some good it. Advice. Take every moment for what it is. Just enjoy life. Life's too short to hate it. That's, that's honestly one of the... Who gave you that advice? I gave it to myself. <laughs> But on a serious note, like, yeah. just move forward with things. Yeah. Weird questions. How would you react to a girl coming up to you out of nowhere and ask you for your number and to sign your underwear? To sign my underwear? Your underwear, yes. Very tough question. Would, would anyone like to sign? Well, well, <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> come on! I I oh, come know. on! <laughs> <laughs> you have a shark? <laughs> I actually <laughs> might have something in my bag. Hold I on. wish I did. Oh, oh, this is so awkward. I, don't I get to choose? Oh, where do you want it? I'm signing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh, your mom's gonna love this. <laughs> You're not putting this on YouTube. Oh, it's definitely going. It's definitely going. <laughs> no, bro. Yo, I'm gonna keep that for life. <laughs> give it away, give it away, give it away. Just to let you know, he's never washing his underwear again. <laughs> I'm always, I'm just gonna put it on a frame and leave it on my house, and you know, <laughs> always watch this video. <laughs> as long as that's the only pair you know ever washing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never washing this again. <laughs> that's a that's a long signature. Like, are you are you writing a letter? Big name, every oh letter of the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> Next time, maybe you'll think. Do you want the other cheek too? I'm getting a little close here. Oops, the other side. There you go. Okay, there we go. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Great, thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay, so. This is a weird ass segment. I guess. That, that escalated pretty quick. I guess. It's a weird ass segment. Hey. Oh. <laughs> So I'm gonna read to you guys what the lady just signed on his uh, on his underwear. You Wait, guys ready? Sure my ass looks good. It does. It does. It always looks perfect. Being a All right. So it literally said, "Boo boo xx, live laugh love." You gotta keep this underwear now forever. How, how do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? I, I feel so abused. <laughs> You're literally asking that question, bro. You gotta <laughs> see, bro. See. Uh -oh. I guess I guess people in Halifax are a lot more spontaneous than we thought. So this is a good start to the day. Now let's keep going. This is not going on YouTube. It's absolutely going on YouTube. They're not paying a second person. Hold on your pants now. Oh. <laughs> I've never done this in public. Right take here. this side because someone already did the other side. So just take so, this. Oh. I have a nice bum, by the way. I just noticed. <laughs> Oh, there, there we, we go. go. There we go, bro. <laughs> that was faster than the first one. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one. Good one. <laughs> okay. Hey, what is going on, guys? And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're calling it the Anne Depp Show. This is going to be the first episode. So basically what it is, is that every week we pick a question, an interesting question about that tells us a little bit of a story about the people's lives and how it's going, or what they're thinking, what they're going through, if they need any help with anything, just to give us an idea about what's going on with the people around us. In our everyday lives, we're just walking around, we don't really talk to people, and everybody's just in their own little bubble. So we decided to come up with this show, so that we can kind of break that bubble a little bit, and get to know people, and just talk, and just talk. And especially since in the winter nobody walks on the streets and pretty much everybody's isolated. So we figured the summer is the perfect way to do that. We just went out and did it. We're gonna have each week a different question. And starting now on, I want you guys to suggest in the comments what you want the question to be. Just give me like ideas for questions so that we can go out and ask people. And then we will have in each episode a segment that's called Weird Things Featuring Strangers, which we literally just go out and ask people to do really weird things with us on camera and let's see who's gonna be down to do it and who's not. So that's essentially what the whole show is about. And this is the first episode and I worked so hard on it. Me and my friends like went out, filmed it. It was amazing and we all had a good time and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. It was literally all about positivity. We just went out, had smiles on everybody's faces just because they were watching us, just engaging with us and 
and just giving us their feedback on whatever they were unhappy about, if they had any problems, if they had any positive comments, like the advice that they just gave us. Everybody gave us really good advice. The whole time when we were filming, we had people around us just like smiling, like laughing, and just, it was a really good time. So, I hope this video does well and you guys enjoy it because I'm looking forward to episode 2 and we should be filming that today or tomorrow. And I will see you guys in the next, uh, actually, before I do that, don't forget about the fidget spinner giveaway. So right now the video is sitting around 45 likes, so we're only 15 away. Don't forget to go back and like that video, share it with your friends because the giveaway is still happening as soon as it hits 60 likes. Like this video if you enjoyed it and leave in the comments below what other questions do you want us to ask people. And also leave some suggestions for weird shit to do with people, right? That'll be fun. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel because it's every week, bruh. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!